Hello， 大家好，欢迎回到外媒看中国，我是安博然。U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has just wrapped up her latest trip to China, and despite being just 160 centimeters tall, she claims to have spoken tough words with Beijing, including telling China to stop exporting affordable electric vehicles and solar technology. Washington will not tolerate it, she claims to have said. But What about the environment? Does the U.S. really care? Today we'll talk about it. This is reports on China. I'm Andy Boham in Shanghai. Let's get reporting. If you look at the Twitter account of Secretary Yellen during her recent China visit, one of the themes she stuck with the most was that she was coming here to ensure an even playing field for U.S. companies doing business in China. Does that sound a little, I don't know, ironic to you? Chinese companies doing business in the U.S. are treated extremely poorly, while U.S. companies thrive here in China. Let's just use one huge example: Huawei was not only banned in the U.S., but they also pressured many of their allies around the world to stop dealing with the Chinese company as well. Remember the whole 5G revolution that Huawei was heading, offering affordable 5G around the world. Well, the U.S. wasn't happy and decided to throw a spanner in the works, convincing many countries to curtail Huawei, much to their own detriment. Check out this map of 5G coverage in Thailand, a country that did not budge to Washington bullying. On the flip side, Huawei's competitor Apple. Is absolutely thriving here in China. In fact, they just opened one of their largest stores in the world, right here in Shanghai, a city that already has many Apple stores. So why then would Yellen be making such a hilarious claim? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Another theme of her trip was this idea that China is producing too many high-quality products at an affordable rate for export around the world, and she is not happy about it. Why? Because the U.S. simply cannot compete. Isn't one of the fundamental tenets of capitalism this idea that the market gets to decide, and that government should stay out of it as much as possible? So why then is Yellen, on behalf of Washington? Trying to create artificial markets based on artificial supply and artificial prices, again because free, open markets do not benefit the U.S., a country which has for decades cooked the books to its own advantage and to the detriment of developing economies. Well, not anymore. Two of the areas she targeted specifically. Were electric vehicles and solar technology. Now that's interesting because both of those industries relate directly to protecting the environment and saving the planet, a cause that the collective West has long claimed was fundamentally important. Well, I'm sorry to bring you bad news, but that was all a lie. In fact, the U.S. has simply used saving the planet. As an excuse to continue its unfair and artificial dominance over the world, that's why, as one of the world's largest polluters per capita, the U.S. has been trying to reduce emissions in developing nations like China, not to save the environment, but to ensure their dominance. They pretty much just go with whatever narrative they can to back up their ludicrous bullying. Check out these two covers of the Economist magazine, one from 2013 and one from this year, because it highlights my point really well. In 2013, before China was leading the way in green technology, they ran with this frankly racist cover, calling China the world's worst polluter. Fast forward 10 years, and now China is producing more clean energy technology. And enabling more and more countries around the world to save the environment as well. So instead of calling China dirty polluters, now they're trying to demonize China's production of affordable electric vehicles that don't pollute the planet with toxic emissions. The text: China's EV onslaught, with an image depicting Chinese electric vehicles as dangerous and deadly. You just have to laugh. China's EV revolution has done so much for the planet already, and most of that is happening right here in China. 
In 2010, for example, the US was the world leader with the number of electric vehicles on the road at a measly 3,800. Fast forward to 2022, before China's EV industry really picked up, and there were more than 14 million electric vehicles on the roads here, dwarfing the nearly 3 million in the US. So that's a good thing, right? Think of the reduced carbon emissions. Well, not for US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. She wants China to stop providing affordable, high-quality electric cars to the world. In fact, they've stopped ordinary Americans from even having the option to buy, banning Chinese EVs there entirely. Reuters reported, The US will not accept Chinese imports decimating new industries, Yellen says. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned China on Monday that Washington will not accept new industries being decimated by Chinese imports as she wrapped up four days of meetings to press her case for Beijing to rein in excess industrial capacity. The article goes on to say that Yellen used her second trip to China in nine months to complain that Beijing's overinvestment has built factory capacity far exceeding domestic demand, while fast-growing exports of these products threaten companies in the US and other countries. Well, duh. China wants to be a world leader in these technologies, using its skills and expertise to supply high-quality, affordable products to the world on the open market. Isn't that what capitalism is all about? Well, not according to US Treasury Secretary Yellen, who claims... I've made it clear that President Biden and I will not accept that reality again. So basically, the issue is that the US cannot compete with Chinese production and expertise. So instead of working with China to use the strengths of both sides to live together in harmony, they'd rather come to China and try to threaten and bully their continued existence as the hegemon of a world limited by their artificially created global economy based not on reality and open markets, but on threats and sanctions. And what about the environment? Isn't China's massive production of electric vehicles, solar equipment and other green technology something worth celebrating? Well, I asked you guys on the Reports on China YouTube channel if you think the US really cares about the planet, and the result was as expected. After thousands of votes, 99% of you said they do not. The US does not care about the environment. AJ Jing 8739 said, If only US corporations had a heavy investment in clean energy, EVs, etc., then they will care about the environment. Poot Shi Whipped added, Cough, Nord Stream 2, cough. <laughs> so true. Remember the Nord Stream 2 explosion, which most people with a brain believe was spearheaded by Washington? Well, that led to one of the worst environmental disasters in recent history. Dave PSK asked, what's wrong with affordable EVs and solar panels? Do we have to buy expensive Western control products only? Isn't this a free world and free markets? Don't make excuses and play rough when you can't compete. Touche, thanks so much for your comments guys. And on that note, that will be it for today. So do let me know down below what you think and don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.